Well, we are living in really, really busy times, frenetic times. The, the pace of society, especially in some countries like my own, is incredibly rapid. And you can get caught up in the rat race. You can even win the rat race, but that just makes you one more rat that's running. Um, God has made us multidimensional. We're spirit, soul, and body. I have to take time to feed my spirit. I have to take time to nourish my soul. And I have to take time to exercise and refresh my body. So I'm a preacher. I spend a lot of time studying. I spend a lot of time preaching. I spend a lot of time with people. But I also have me time. Now I have God time where I'm just letting God fill me and my ministry comes out of an overflow of that. But I also just sort of have me time. I mean, I don't, God's not excluded from that. But whether I'm out on the golf course, I'll go walk 18 holes. I'll talk to God. I'll laugh with my friends. You know, I end up walking about five miles. I get some exercise. Helps me live a well-balanced life. I make sure that I get enough rest. You know, because really the best gift that I can give my wife, the best gift that I can give my church, the best gift that I can give my, free, my friends is a whole me, a hundred percent me. If I'm running at 70%, well, I can't give my best away because I don't have my best to give. So in these times, the, with, with the fast pace and the so many demands that are made on us, we have to prioritize our life. We have to set up boundaries. We need to, of course, number one, set, set time to be with God. We need to set time you know, to be with our spouse and family, but you need to have some me time as well where your emotional tank just gets filled up and where that gets satiated so you're ministering and living and giving out of a place of wholeness and fullness and where you're not just running on vapors or on fumes all the time. Take some time to organize your life like that. It'll be time well spent.